Hello YouTube and welcome to another video with the Aviation Enthusiast. So for those who have been following my channel, you've been seeing some videos recently where I set myself a target to reach a $350 billion um, airline value achievement and that's in uh, Speedy Recovery Game World. So there's actually just less than five years left in the game world. So I want to give you a quick status update on where I am versus that target um, and um, basically to let you know that I am well ahead of schedule I should be reaching that target in this year um, the main reason why that happened is you can see by this graph I've been tracking it uh, you see in 2027 it just shot up significantly and that was due to the fact that one of my major competitors in Cologne um, bankrupted and my profit went from about 700 million per week to over 1 billion and now at 1.2 billion per week as you can see I've got 100 billion in cash um, so I'll show you where I am in terms of my current valuation as per 8th of June 2030. Go to statistics. You see, I'm at 326 billion, making a billion a week more. So I should receive this uh, by this year. So typically, I would normally say, Well done, Fred. We're there where we need to be. But, um, you know, most game worlds, I would just give up now and just let the game go and cruise. But because I'm doing these sort of videos, it kind of keeps me motivated to keep going. And one thing I've also realized that when I looked at some of the achievements I haven't unlocked is uh, the top three of the airline scores. And you can see I'm currently in position number two. And it's kind of given me a reason to push me a bit more and see if I can reach number one. Um, I am not far behind. You see, 18 points. And the way this is calculated is a combination of all the other uh, statistics. Um, so I got to try and move myself up in some of the statistics pages or move my competitor, who was number one, move him down. Um, so I'm going to focus a bit on trying to do that. And one of the things that I need to do is schedule a lot of aircraft. I've got a lot of aircraft I haven't scheduled. And there's various reasons for that. So if you could look at it, I've got. 95 aircraft that I haven't scheduled which I plan on doing shortly but the main reason is because in JFK which is my HQ there have been some slot restrictions and overnight um, it moved from 105 to 120 but when that happens there tends to be a slot quota in place so I'm kind of waiting for the slot quota to go down because it's super annoying to schedule um, I have no issues of not finding the slots there's plenty of them there's only me and one competitor so the way I can achieve that number one position for me is by trying to target this airline now it's easier said than done but I need to eat away at his cargo and interestingly he opened a new base which added more cost to him and you can see he's got a fair bit of cash if you scroll down a bit he's got about 1.8 billion in assets but he's not making money anymore and he's starting to lose money so if I give some more pressure on him especially in JFK on his cargo, which is where he makes his money. I feel like I can potentially hurt him. If he bankrupts before the end of the game, I'm pretty sure I will be, you know, virtually number one. Um, but once that's one part of the tactic I'll do, I will also continue to grow in my other two bases. I've ordered some A330-800 NEOs, as you can see there. And these are in a configuration purely to target some of the domestic demand in Japan, because I've been focusing on cargo but one thing that I can move my uh, stats up a bit is by jumping a few positions on the passenger statistics so if I start to move um, more passengers because you can see um, year to date I'm 22nd I've done 19 overall I need to move this up you know if I can push significantly more passengers in place that should help me overall with some of the um, statistics um, see if can, it can boost my passenger revenue, it will help uh, tremendously and trying to achieve that airline score one. So yes, the 350 billion target hasn't been met yet, but it will be met. So I'm kind of focusing now on becoming at least a top three. I'm in the top three, so I like to be ambitious. Let's see if we can make it to number one. So we've got less than five years left. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got A330s, a 3 21 freighters and some 747-800 freighters uh, to schedule 
now the plan is to just keep growing with the airbus now because i'm starting to struggle to find routes for the 747 800 freighters so i might open actually another base um potentially against whoever is number one to see if i can push his stats down a bit somewhere uh, if not, um, I'll find a base where I can, you know, use those 747-800 freighters. Um, but I will be looking to grow more with A330-200 freighters. A big shout out to uh, my alliance partner, Cubefish, who's been providing me with a lot of aircraft as well, which helps me grow tremendously. Um, just to give you an idea in terms of my fleet size now, I'm well over 1,255 fleets. I've got aircraft I've got now in my fleet. Still 92 on order. Um, I should end this game over close to 1,500 aircraft. Should be one of the largest airlines I've ever run. You can see I've now also got a fully owned fleet. And essentially I'm printing money. And for those who are interested, I've actually not updated my pricing for a long time. And I don't feel like I currently have the need to. You see I'm doing 4 billion operating profits and I'm uh, operating revenue and 1.2 billion operating profits. So I've just around the 30% margin of just cash and money is not a problem um, it's just if i can achieve those stats a bit more um, that would be great and if i can't see a way of pushing the other guy in my base out then well i might have to reset and just go for a bit more profit to see if it can push me a bit more on the stats so yes if you've got any questions or any comments below just leave them below in the comment section um also it'd be good to understand if you've got uh, any ideas on which um achievements i should try and aim for because i've done quite a lot of the achievements but there's still quite a few that i haven't unlocked if you got any particular interest in for future game worlds to see if i should try and target some achievements leave a comment as well and perhaps i'll create a new video in the future based on what you think i should be targeting again thanks for watching and uh, let's i'll make one more video for this game world towards the end once we've completed the game world so that'll be um probably about two two to three weeks in real time uh, when the next video will be out on this game world to give you a, a conclusion to see whether or not I reach the top three in stats and hopefully it'll be the number one. Thanks again. Bye.